Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Charlie. My fringe looks very bad, is it? <laughs> okay, this is fashion of 2020. I cut my own fringe again and I fail. <laughs> well, what nonsense I going talk today? I'm going to share my own experience on Form 6, which is STPM, with you guys. So bear in mind, currently is June 2020 years and I took STPM during 2015 June to 2016 yeah the whole year so it's one and a half year that means i'm talking about five years ago so oh my god i'm so old anyway i'm 23 this year it's five years ago i took stpm in science stream what i'm sharing here is just based on my own experience my own opinion and my yeah i didn't ask my friend to list out the experience because um, I just wanna tell what I feel so the whole video gonna be my own mindset and thoughts and my experience we won't have a definitely same experience so it's just for your reference and to be honest I didn't get a really high grade for my STPM but it's not the problem with the STPM it's my own problem okay and then but I still managed to get into science stream in degree and okay so before I sharing bear in mind it's just my own opinion my mindset and um, every opinion are subjective so maybe fine for me but not fine for you or not fine for me but it's fine for you it's just for your reference I actually didn't did any research for this video I just telling you my own experience so maybe if the syllabus change already I also don't know okay um STPM took one and a half year to finish it up and actually it's the same as A level the period I mean um but it's longer than foundation which is one year and shorter than diploma which is two to three years I did science stream in STPM back to 4 years ago which is Mathematics, Tea, um, Chemistry, Biology and Pengajian um, Pengajian um, is a must, you must take this course and I did STPM science stream in SMK last manner. I personally work in Mathematics so Mathematics, Tea is a challenge for me in STPM but I'm very grateful I got a really good teacher which is Jagoma Hess to talk us mathematics team. Although I was kidding with her all the time, math is math and MAD. But actually I found math can be fun in during STPM time. So this video gonna share about some good points and big points of STPM so emphasizing what I'm sharing is what I recall at the moment back to 4 years ago so I might um, miss out some points I don't know anyway the very good point of STPM is it's free the tuition fee is covered by government we don't need to pay any tuition fee to the school if you did any research you will know that foundation course a level or diploma course you gotta pay about 20k for the tuition fee itself it haven't include your daily expenses actually many people won't choose to go stpm for many reasons but I strongly suggest you to join STPM if you don't have extra money but if you are rich, you can do whatever you like second point um, I personally really don't think the syllabus is hard okay now some people gonna say then why you gonna get a high grade it's my own problem um, I think for myself, for me it's hard from the aspect of um, time management, self-confidence, and discipline. 3. Regarding the tuition, um, I think many people, those guess who want, um, even 
I myself also uh, go to tuition because friends are going to the tuition. But bear in mind, we would have tuition in degree life. So I suggest you go to tuition when you really need it. For example, you can understand what is the topic, you can understand the theory from books from teacher in school, then I suggest you to go tuition. Why saying that? Because tuition, one, you need money for that. Second point is, even I myself, if I pay for tuition, I wouldn't really concentrate during class in school. Actually, it, it was a resting time steps. Something I really want to emphasize is a good teacher can guide you to understand better the theory, the topic. Mm, but ultimately, you still have to put on efforts. Like, for my case, I really got lots of good teacher, but, but I didn't get good grade because of my own faults, not because I didn't have good teacher. Oh, regarding the school time, actually it's just same as our secondary school time, like your ST, SPM life, um, 7.30 a.m. to roughly 1 p.m. And then we got co-curriculum during, last time was during, Wednesday, I think. Yeah. Then actually, the time is not really long. I know some foundation course is really packed, like morning to evening, and got a lots of assignment this and that. So fair enough. STPM is not that tiring. We gotta buy our own books because that time we wouldn't. There's no books for us to borrow from school, but it's not very expensive, like 35 for one textbook plus the other exercise book. It's not really expensive, like university textbook, few hundred dollars. It's still manageable, I think. And actually, there's another way is you get textbook from your senior either they're selling you with a cheaper price or you just get free books like me um yeah so actually it's roughly maybe 200 ringgit for books for one semester it's still cheaper as compared to degree another benefit for stpm is the size of the class is small because not many people like to go STPM so the students are little but little students got benefits because your teacher gonna more focus on teaching you to really understand the theory behind so actually you gain benefits because your, your teacher make sure you understood the theory instead of many students but the teacher not able to take care of all the students. The benefit or its big side of STPM is there is no much assignment to do during STPM time meaning you can focus more on your studies, keep on the track of study to get a good grad instead of managing your time to do assignment. Assignment is good but for the people that is bad in time management, sometimes they stress out like I myself. Um, but still can get there in the end so 
it can be a benefit of STPM or it can be a weak side of STPM. It depends on which kind of people you are and what you value more. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about the weak side of STPM. And don't scold me, please. I just telling you my own experience, my own feeling, my mindset. I personally value more on freedom. So, as TPM teacher, I'll treat you more like a kid, like back to SPM time. So, it depends on what you value more degree or lecturer in university won't treat you like a kid they treat you like a like an adult so it depends on oneself preference okay about the freedom again um, STPM is just like SPM time you can actually bring handphone to school or else your discipline teacher gonna take away your handphone but to be fair you won't be able to use handphone when you are concentrating studying so fair enough don't scold me i just telling you my own experience another thing is about the attire um actually back to my time which is four years ago which is 2015 and 16 the rules are we can actually wear our own clothes instead of the uniforms but as you know it's a um, malay school government school so it won't be a fashion show for you to wear spaghetti like this. You gotta wear um, long sleeve and what else? Everywhere is the same as SPM time. No tight clothes. Um, that one showing your body shape cannot. And back to my time. Only black shoes are allowed, no high heels. Another big point is you gotta use textbook and paper and pen, meaning you gotta carry all this thing, which is a little bit heavy as compared to just carrying a laptop. But anyway, this is back to four years ago and what I can recall at the moment I might miss out anything or any inappropriate comments but then don't scold me, don't scold me and it depends on one's self value to like what you what what is your preference but before I end this video I strongly, strongly, strongly suggest you to go STPM if you don't have extra money. Please subscribe to my channel if you like my video and don't scold me if I say something inappropriate in this video. I just recall and sh** I experienced back to 4 years ago.